I'm sitting here with Sean Zachary from Echoing Lake Camp. Uh, we've been here at his camp now for the last week, late September. Uh, there's one other guest in camp here for the moose hunt and we've been here fishing. It's pretty much, it is, the most remote camp in Ontario. It's a really special place and I'd just like to ask Sean a couple of questions. First of all about the history of the camp. Um, love to hear about the history of the camp and how it all came about. Well, uh, it started with my grandfather and a whole bunch of his business partners looked for a place to go trout fishing. Uh, they came up to Echoing Lake Camp starting in about the mid-90s. Uh, my dad would come along as a camp helper and they would come for about 15 years until uh, my grandpa talked to the owners who is Sashiko Lake First Nations and they worked out a partnership to uh, build this wonderful lodge and uh, start promoting it for guests for fishing and hunting. Up until basically this year, the camp has not really been operated commercially. I know you've ran a few parties through it, I think, here and there, but this year, 2016, is pretty much where you took the bull by the horns and you're, you're trying to make this a viable operation, correct? Yeah, I've been coming up running our moose hunting operations for the last two years, and after last season of moose hunting, uh, it, it really hurt my hurt my heart knowing that no one was coming up here fishing all summer. It's such a beautiful place and the fishing is just unbelievable. And as a diehard fisherman myself, I knew that other guys would really want to experience this on their bucket list. Talk a little bit about the fishery here at Echoing. Not just on Echoing, but the outlying lakes. Uh, well, on Echoing here we have some trophy lake trout fishing um, and some unbelievable northern pike fishing. Uh, all summer long it's a unique fishery in the sense that there's one deep hole and all summer long the lake trout are stacked at the bottom of that hole and I love it because you, if you want to get your kid into fishing you catch them as easily as dropping down to the bottom and reeling up as fast as you can and it's normally a lake trout every reel up so I get a lot of groups that come up and they bring their kids next year that, to, to get them into fishing and that's something I love is getting new people into fishing and getting them hooked. And the nice thing is, is like you were mentioning, the outpost cabin and all of our outlying lakes, um, we have our own float plane here that we use nonstop to go around exploring other lakes. Some of these lakes have never had someone on them unless some old fur trader, you know, 50 years ago was paddling through here with their pelts and maybe threw a line in the water. But the virgin water, it's really something you have to experience when you're fishing a lake that gets pressured at this point only a couple times a year. It doesn't matter what you throw in the water, a fish is going to hit it. Talk about how yelling was discovered by your granddad. Actually, yelling was discovered by my dad. Or by your dad. Yeah, he, uh, being the camp helper up here with, with their group, he, he loves his walleye fishing and this lake doesn't have any walleyes. So he chartered a float plane, this is 20 years ago, and he got the guy to fly him around until he found something where if there was walleye in a lake, they'd be right there. And he came across the, what is now the famous rapids at the south end of Yelling. And he made the plane land, they fished off the floats, and it was a walleye every cast. So for the next two years when they were coming up, they'd just do that. They'd fish right off the floats of the plane until well, it was the third or fourth year they decided let's at least fly one boat in there and since then now we have three boats there because the walleye fishing in there is just phenomenal all year round. Besides the outpost camp at Yelling there's a number of lakes around Echoing that you haven't even fished yet. I mean this is still all stuff yet to be explored right? Yeah absolutely. Uh, anytime I get a free moment with the plane I'm always getting my pilot to fly me over some lakes that I've been looking at on Google Earth for years and I just want to see them with my own eyes. Luckily we've been to a few of them with our moose hunting operation, but for the majority of the part, other than yelling, rider and echoing, none of them have been fished. Incredible. Um, and as someone who travels to a lot of camps and meets a lot of camp owners, it really is nice to see a young man like yourself with the passion that you have. Um, you know, for the camp in the area. And I can tell anybody who's thinking of coming here to Aquawing Lake, Sean is, uh, if you can't get along with Sean, you will not get along with anyone. He's uh, truly 
an outstanding guy, a lot of fun to be around, and he's a great cook as well. And I really just like to thank you for the week we just had. No problem. It was I enjoyed awesome. having you guys here. Thanks, Sean. It was a lot of fun.